The best dunkers in the country have blown into the Windy City. Hot it. For the 7-Eleven City Slam presented by Briss. Four top dunkers show their stuff in four rounds, but only one can be crowned Chicago's regional champion. Who's going to earn the title? Find out next on the 7-Eleven City Slam presented by Briss. Welcome to Seward Park in Chicago, where basketball has its roots. It's also where my co-host, Ms. Brittany Payton, has her roots. What are you expecting to see today? One, well, so excited to be here in Chicago. This is my hometown, and Chicago is a basketball town. You can see the crowd behind us ready to see some great dunking today. And I'm ready to see some great dunking today as well. I mean, this is the city where Michael Jordan made history on the court, where Derrick Rose made history off the court in his suit. Everybody's looking nice. Everybody's amped. We're going to see history today in Chicago, I'm telling you. Let's do it. Let's get the party started. Let's get this party started. All right, today you're going to see four different competitions, two each for $1,000 in prize money that will warm our competitors up for the regional championships in the big $5,000 payout. The vert bar, where our competitors jump their highest. The Marines tribute dunk, where they are inspired by a famous dunk and put their own spin on it. The vert bar and the tribute dunk are where our competitors can get up and rake in some extra cash. That's 1000 extra for the winner of each. Then is the championship battle. It begins with our dunkers getting three attempts apiece, where the top two will move on to the finals. And finally, the final competitors will get two dunks apiece, and the winner will be crowned the Chicago Regional Champion. He'll move on to the World Championships in Los Angeles. Our esteemed judges and even more esteemed hosts will get together after each round and decide who had the most killer dunk. Our first competitor, one of the highest jumpers in the world and winner of the 2014 DC City Slam Regional, Sir Isaac White. I'm gonna win this dunk competition today because I'm Sir Isaac, eight time finest dunk. And next, our competitor who's won the 2011 National High School Slam Dunk Championships despite looking 35, Antoine Ball. I'm going to win this dunk contest because I feel like I'm determined and I just have an opportunity to come out here and just have a good time and enjoy the city of Chicago. And next, a guy who's competed in NBA dunk competitions all over the world. He's known for his 51-inch vertical, Steve, don't call me, Urko Harris. I'm going to win this dunk competition today because I'm here. And next, we have our defending amateur NBA dunk champion and the Grand Land Venice Beach dunk champion, Jordan Sutherland. I'm gonna win this dunk contest today because one, I'm the only one for jumper, two, I can jump higher than everybody, and three, I'm the youngest. So much energy, I'm like this monster, this sugar and candy. All right, well, if it's a competition, we got to have judges or else we would be a reality show. So our first judge, Hugh Chicago, hails from South Carolina, has career totals with the Chicago Bears, almost 3,000 receiving yards, 14.9 yards per carry, despite an all-pro on the other side and the quarterback throwing with his eyes closed. Give it up for Alshon Jeffrey. That was a very political smile you gave me right there, too. Next, the number one pick in the draft, number 11 last year, with the Chicago Bulls. He hails from Creighton. He's always dialing long distance. Give it up for Doug McDermott, Dougie McD. And last but not least, from Team Flight Brothers, he and I still have an ongoing debate on who will dunk first. Give it up for Chuck Milan. Give it up for Chuck Milan. Here's, here's a pin drop. Coming up next, we'll see what heights the guys can hit with our vert bar competition. Back to 7-Eleven City Slam, presented by Brisk in a moment. 7-Eleven City Slam, presented by Brisk, is brought to you by your neighborhood 7-Eleven. By Brisk, with new Brisk pineapple passion fruit flavored iced tea, only at participating 7-Eleven stores for a limited time. And by the United States Marine Corps, the few, the proud, the Marine. You voted for the new Brisk flavor. And now that it's exclusively at 7-Eleven, meet the summer's MVP, P. What the? That's 
Earth's most valuable pineapple passion fruit. New brisk pineapple passion fruit flavored iced tea. Brewed for City Slam. Only available at 7-Eleven. Only for a limited time. Brisk kinda out there. Welcome back to 7-Eleven City Slam, presented by Brisk. It's time for our very first competition, the Vert Bar, where everybody's invited. That's where each of our contestants will dunk over this bar right here, set at 40 inches. Once each guy clears it, the bar will go up four inches at a time until we get to 60 inches. Then it will go up just two inches at a time. Our winner is the very last guy standing who wins $1,000 minus some nominal taxes I may take out. Now, Brittany, you're standing with our guys. What's your prediction? How high will our guys get today? Well, I'm re I know these guys are ready. We're going to see some crazy jumps today. But are you guys ready? This is the first competition, $1,000 on the line. Yeah, we all pumped. We're going against good competition. Got my man Isaac. Got my man right here, so it's gonna be a good competition. All right, now Jordan, you were up first, and you were a high jumper, high school and college. How's that gonna help you with this competition? This right here, right here, right here, easy. These guys? Slight. That it's easy, we're gonna see it. They're ready to go. Y'all show some love for my man Jordan. We got Jordan first up. He's had a lot of energy in the pregame. Oh, he's getting the crowd hype at 40. Here we go. Give it up for Jordan. Give it up for him. 40 inches. That was easy. That was easy. We got Steve up. Fumbled the ball and still made it. 40 should be quite easy. I'm not expecting anybody to be eliminated at 40 inches. How high are they going, Alshon? I'm going to say like 64. 64? We got Antoine. All right, there we go. That was pretty easy. Two hands. Now, Sir Isaac. Sir Isaac's been here before. He's the veteran. That was easy. Doug, how high are we getting? He's getting 68. 68? You think we're going to the record? Sir Isaac. All right, you think Sir Isaac's going to get 68? I got to ask the expert, Chuck, how high are we getting? Man, I'm, I'm going to say, I'm going to go in between. I'm saying 66 today. 66? We got a 64, a 66, and a 68. I'm going to go 62. I'm going to be the pessimist out here. Because I, cause I can't jump, and I'm a negative person. We're up at 44 inches now, 44 inches. Jordan, again, that was pretty, that was almost a layup. That was smooth. We got Steve up at 44 inches. That was pretty easy. We got Antoine, he went for the two-hander at 40. There we go, that was, that was pretty easy. Sir Isaac at 44. The alley-oop. All right, there we go. The alley-oop at 44. All right, well, when are we going to lose somebody, Chuck? I think everybody's going to stick around till like, 52. Everybody till 52. OK, we got 48 right now. This is Jordan. Still pretty easy. We got Steve. At 48 inches. Still pretty easy. Yeah, Doug, what's the highest you ever jumped? Uh, like 38. 38, all right. We got Antoine. What'd you say? That sounds funny, 38, man. That's not bad. I said I couldn't say nothing about it. Killing him, man. Yeah. I said I could. I could. What's the highest you jump? What? What's the highest you jump? I'm, I, I got the uh, 68. That was me last yeah. year. That was last year? Yeah. Sir Isaac. Oh. oh. Hey, man, favorites. <laughs> wow. That, that was, clear. That that was an expensive hot dog right there. Give it up for Sir Isaac, out at 48. Isaac's out $1,000. Uh, we got uh, Jordan starting us next at 52. We have 52. Make some noise. Let's see if you can clear it. Get up. No. Oh. That, that was pretty smooth. We got Steve next at 52. Let Steve survive, y'all. Show him some love. Show him some love as he elevates. Nice. Nice and done. 52. Still got three guys remaining. Two clear, 52. Last, we got Antoine. OK. Easy at 52. 
We're at 56. Put your hands together, y'all. Get this We got Jordan. Whoa. Remember, this is $4,000. 56 inches. Oh. Steve is out. Antoine's got to make this dunk. If he misses this dunk, that's $1,000 for Jordan. Antoine, what you going to do, Mr. Fella? Antoine's still walking up, taking a power dribble. OK, stutter step, spring. Oh! He misses it. Our winner is Jordan. Wins $1,000. He also gets to choose where he goes for the rest of the competition. Going to 60. Right now, Jordan is about to jump over our auntie. That's the average height of an aunt. There we go. Oh! Clears it pretty easy at 60 inches. 60 inches. We're going to 64 now. Here we go. 64 inches. He's clearing family members. You gotta love it. Get up, young man. Oh, oh wow. I gotta go. Hey, is he gonna go for the record? That was 64 inches. He's gonna go for the record at 68. He's gonna go for the record at 68. Does he make this? You think he makes it, Alshon? Does he make this, 68? Here we go. It's close. We're gonna see. Chuck, call it. Does he make it? 70. 70 inches. It's 70 inches right now. Does he make it, Chuck? I hope so. Chuck's concerned about insurance. Oh, he's gonna jump, Brittany. Hey, let's oh, get it, man. You got this. So Jordan, here we go. Oh, 70 inches. Let's go, y'all. Show some love. This is for the record. Jordan here for the go. record. Run, wow. raise, rock. Oh, limbo time. You got it. Limbo time. You can do it. <laughs> That's my limbo right there. Show him some love, y'all. Give him some Just energy. 21. Some energy. Jordan for the record at 70 go. inches. Oh! oh. Right. Clap it up for him. That's a thousand dollars. Gave you a show. He gets a thousand dollars. He comes out the gate and establishes himself early. Who called 66? 66. Right. That was you. Oh boy. The expert. Oh, boy. Chuck got it. All right, Brittany, you're there with our winner. Thousand dollars. Chooses where he goes. Almost had the record. Young Jordan. All right, Jordan. Clearly, the high jump came in handy. You just won $1,000. How do you feel? I feel great. I want to just come out here. This was the first event. I knew high jump was going to help me with the vert ball, so I just want to come out here and do my best and win this, just win this one to start off good. All right, now you get the option now as the winner to decide where you're going to go for the competition. So do you want to go first, second? You're going to go last and bring it home? I'm definitely going to go last just from experience. I just want to see what everybody else has to bring. So when I come out, I can have more intensity than them. Just look off what they're doing and feed off them and feed off the crowd. Awesome. He got some strategy. He, we're going to take it on to the next part of the competition. Reese, back to you. All right, Jordan wins in Chicago once again. We'll be back with 7-Eleven City Slam presented by Brisk with our tribute competition, every dunk dedicated to me. I've seen Sir Isaac um, on City Slam before. I know Isaac from YouTube, from years of watching. I used to play basketball with the older cats. And when I began playing with the cats that's around my age, they felt like I was older than them, so I told them, sir. <laughs> Everyone out here is high flying. I'm just um, blessed to be out here. They all good leapers, so it's going to be a good show tonight. Yeah, we got a one legger that I think could probably do some crazy stuff. It's a good competition. We're just going to come out here and have fun and put on the show. Katy Perry, like, I need her to follow me on tour or something, because, like, I'm her biggest fan. I'm feeling good today, so I don't, I don't really know. We just going to have to see. Got to make sure Katy Perry watching, so. That'll be fine. Welcome back to 7-Eleven City Slam presented by Brisk. You see the crowd is still buzzing after the vert competition, or as I call it, love vert. 
Don't forget, after today's competition, we'll be crowning our Chicago Regional Champion, who will move on to the City Slam World Championships in Los Angeles, along with me and Brittany. It's time for our Marines tribute dunk, where each of our competitors will complete a dunk from past NBA dunk competitions and put a little flair on it. Of course, this is also $4,000. Now, Brittany is with our first competitor getting info on his tribute. All right, Jordan, you've got to have some confidence. Already won $1,000 today. Who did you pick for your tribute dunk? I picked Sean Kim because he's one of my favorite one-foot jumpers. And I like the poses he makes in the air. He has style and the last pizzazz. like he's really flying in the air. Now, I got to say, you know he's never won a dunk competition. So how are you going to change that today? I'm going to change that and put on for really just him and all the one-foot jumpers out there because it's not too many of us. Now, I'm already giving you some extra style points because you got to look at the man's socks. He has Kemp on Sean his Kemp socks, on socks, ready to go. All right, All right there we go. We got a, a Sean Kemp tribute coming up from Jordan. He's already got $1,000 in his pocket. I don't know if that's going to weigh him down. Who's your pick to win the tribute dunk competition? Well, once again, we just blew. Alshon, Alshon's going blue. We'll choose their favorite dunk. All right, here we go. go. Jordan, do their best. Jordan this, right is, here, huh? this is Sean Kemp. He never won a dunk contest, huh? Oh, hey. oh nice. Ooh. Cock Man, it all the way back. Nice. I liked it. It, it was clean. Wrecking the rim. Try Sean, Sean Kemp socks on? It's got to be the shoes, baby. It's the socks. The <laughs> socks. This is my all right, my man. All right, Brendan, you got Steve, our Airline next competitor. Tribute. What's he doing today? All right, Steven, what have you picked for your Airline. tribute dunk today? Uh, the Hero Minor Reverse, Reverse Pump. All right, you know he's known as the Baby Jordan. We're here in Chicago, the home of MJ. How are you going to bring it for the crowd today? Uh, I'm going to try to get up, elevate like he did. All right, wishing you luck. Thank you. All right, so this is... This is a Harold Miner special. Right, here we go. Baby Jordan. My man I don't, Steve is up next. He's gonna be showing. I don't know about Harold Miner in Chicago. Harold I don't. Miner, I don't know AKA about that. Baby Jordan. Let's I don't know about Baby Jordan in Chicago. Clap it up for him. Give him some Let's energy. See. Give him some energy. Let's see him rock the rim off the raise. Let's get it. Hey. Oh. That was Put nice. It down low. Throw it down hard. That was definitely nice. That was Harold definitely Miner nice. Tribute. I like that. Looking I like, like his little baby Jordan. Jordan. Man, he gets up quick. What? He gets off the ground he quick. Does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh, here we go. Dominique. Oh, yeah. All right, Brittany is with Antoine. That's Alshon's pick. Now, what, what should we be looking for? All right, Antoine, what are you going to bring for us today for your tribute dunk? I love Dominique Wilkins, you know. He got them powerful windmills, and I just like Dominique Wilkins, so. That's what I'm thinking of. I do the Dominique Wilkins. Also known for bringing the height. So you're gonna bring some height today with this dunk? Yeah, I gotta bring some height. Out here in a good city, you know, we'll bring the hype and have fun with it. All right, have fun. He's taking it old school, Reese. All right, here we go, Dominique. That's what we're looking for, Dominique. Antoine channeling his inner Dominique. Let's go, Antoine, get up. The human highlight Let's film. Go, He's got the hair. Let's get it. Hey. Oh. Windmill. I All like right. that. All right. I like that. Right. With the power. All right. Like With there the you power. Go, like Dominique used to do. Man, he, that was nice. Windmill over like someone. Yep. Putting something else. Putting. If Katie Katie Perry's watching. Yeah, if Katie Perry's, <laughs> if Katie Perry's watching, Antoine is trying to get a date. That's all he was doing in That's interviews. All but you know, why not? All right, so Brittany is with Sir Isaac. He's our veteran. What should we be looking for now? All right, Isaac, who, who are you taking on for today's tribute dunk? Uh, John Wall. I'm going to give you a little bit of the pump reverse over somebody, and I'm going to add a little Chicago oomph to it. it. A little oomph to it. Now, you know one of our judges, Chuck, actually taught John Wall this dunk. So how are you going to impress him today? I'm going to add a little oomph to it. <laughs> you heard it. The man is going to add his own flair. Okay, John Wall. Sir Isaac's doing John Wall. Man after my own heart. You know, I'm a DC native myself. So I'm already feeling this. I'm already feeling his choice. He's in a good place. But if they ever do a movie about Outcast, he can play Andre 3000. Let's go, baby. Here we go. Oh, man, he's got a cameraman. Cameraman got to get out of the way. Here we go. 
Hey, it's a spinning. It's a spinning John Wall. Did it crack it? Oh, it's catch it. Oh. oh. Okay. Here we, we go. We do have a clock on this. We do have we do have 30 seconds to complete the dunk. Here we go. Gonna go, whatever. Got his hands. Oh! And kept his arm in the ring. Nice, nice, nice. John Wall with a splash of his With the, uh, John the spin Wall. was the extra ump, oh, and that's what I think yeah. cost him. Who needs a clock? We're gonna Chicago go to the judges. It. Chicago likes it. I think. All right. Antoine, what impressed yeah, you most, though? Antoine. Antoine. Which one is Antoine? Antoine. Yeah, Antoine. Antoine. yeah that's what I said. Yeah. All right. Yeah. We got, yeah, we got, we got, we got, got a consensus? Yeah, man. All right. Unanimous decision. Antoine. We got sure. we got a pretty much unanimous decision. The winner of your Marines Tribute Dunk Competition, Antoine. Give it up for hey, Antoine. Hey. Antoine. Give it up for yeah, Antoine. Dominique. Antoine's buying dinner. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it over to Brittany with our winner. All right, Antoine, you just won a thousand dollars. Tell me about that dunk, why you picked it today. Um I picked that dunk. Just like I said, um Dominique Wilkins, he's like a powerful dunker. Then I tried my best to mimic it. Um Dummy Wicking. Also, I hope Katy Perry was looking at this so she can um, understand where I'm coming from. We will make sure Katy Perry can see that one. We will make sure. Now, you, as the winner, winning the thousand dollars, you also get to make your choice for where you want to go in the competition round. You can't pick last because our man Jordan already has that. So, which spot do you want to go in? I go first. Gonna yeah, go, I'll go first. first. He's got the confidence. He's gonna go first, Reese. There we go. He's looking for Katy Perry. If he wins this competition, he'll go out to L.A. and meet some real California girls. I'll be there, too. We'll be back with the 7-Eleven City Slam, presented by Briss, with your championship dunks. My first dunk was probably about 2002, 2003. I was in the eighth grade. I think it was the summer going into my ninth grade year. It was around seventh grade. My first dunk was Ryan Anderson Park in Marietta, Georgia. I was 13 years old. Dunked two hands, and I probably didn't dunk for almost a year after that. <laughs> I get a fast break, and I ended up dunking. I was just trying something. Everyone around was like, how you dunk at an early age? And I was like, I don't know. I just did it, just jumped and did it. I was going fast, and I was like, wait a minute. I'm high enough to dunk it. I dunked it. I don't even know how I did it. It went in ever since then. It was dunk, dunk, dunk. <laughs> I tried to do it the next play, and I twisted my ankle. That is the story of my first dunk. Call me incredible. But it is championship dunk time. It's time for our contestants to pull out their best three dunks. They'll have 30 seconds to complete each dunk. Now, once they make a dunk, their turn is over. If they don't make a dunk and the 30 seconds allotted, they will be judged on their misses. The judges will score the contestants from one to 10 with the highest possible total of 30 points. All right, it's championship dunk time. Antoine, who chose to go first, he's got 30 seconds to complete the dunk. He's got 30 seconds to complete this dunk. Little Dominique. The bounce, the catch. Oh, the whoa. Yeah. I haven't seen between the legs before. Oh, that's a bad lot. OK, you got to look at the clock. Make, make a dunk. He's got to he's gotta put something on the board. Just let know that. Oh, hey. good. He still got one oh, in with power. He still, let's check out the replay right here. He still got one in with power. But this okay. dude's head all over there. His head got up to that started. rim right there. This dude got up there, though. Let's look at the, let's look at the scores right there. We got a nine and two eights. That's a 25, because I graduated. <laughs> I'm nice. Again. We got Steve next. I'm excited to see this. What you going to do, young man? Oh! oh good. I'm going to try to go between the legs and throw it down as hard as I possibly Start. can. Watch the <laughs> clock, Steve. We got, he's got about, he's got about. He's taking his sweet time. Let's yeah, go, man. 10 seconds I left. Get up. Oh. oh. Does that count? That was a powerful layup. That did go in. That it means his in. turn is over. Here we go, y'all. Show him some love. Show him some love. He got one more. He got one more. Oh, oh. man. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, I expect high scores okay. from Doug, because he, he gave us fundamentals. Let's look at the replay. Let's see. 
Let's look at the replay. Man, man, you got a little dance on that. That's an Iowa layup. Let's check out the scores. That's what we do in Iowa right there. Doing layups. Oh, wow. <laughs> Only one Isaac. from Doug. Come it's on. Fundamentals. Fundamentals, man. Yeah. He gave you the finger rolls. That's, that's an Iowa thing right there. He's right. from Let's Iowa. Get. Looks like he got a. What are you giving him, Alshon? He's got a one. All right, let's see. No, he, give him ten. He looks better. Give him ten. Uh -oh. Give him a ten. Oh! Oh my goodness. His first oh, dunk. My oh my goodness. Isaac gets him playing around. Oh my goodness. He was saving it. Let's look at the replay here. Here we go. Look at this replay. We got, we got this man between the legs over him. This kid's like 5'9". Wow. Head at the rim. Easy. Okay. He wants the five racks. Oh, my goodness. What you going to do? Wow. Wow, that was clean. Let's look at the scores. We got a 10. I got 10. We got a 10 from Doug. We got a 10. That's a 30. 30 for Isaac. Not playing around. The last we got Jordan. Of course, he chose to go last. You know that could be a negative when somebody throws down what Isaac threw down. You have to top that now. Here we go. All right, let's get it, Jordan. They start the clock. Jordan says, "Oh, man, I'm ten for that too." Ten for that. Also went through the legs. Ten. Yes, sir. All day. Now let's look at the replay here. See this man taking it out the hand this between the legs over two people like it was nothing. Jordan's trying to get walk out of here with six thousand. Looking like a young Alshon out there. <laughs> yeah. That was nice. What are our scores right there? We got another thirty. We got another thirty. Okay, after dunk one. Jordan and Isaac are tied with perfect 30s. Antoine has 25. Steve has one. He is last. Antoine's second dunk here. Oh! And he did it on the first try. That was nice. Let's check out the replay. Right. Takes, a, takes a power dribble, 360 between the legs. Like it's nothing. And, and now, Chuck, it, did, it looked like he did that blind, right? He, just, he didn't he see just the walked, basket. Yeah, man. He, just, he, he was like, I'm up here, so I might as well just throw it wherever. Exactly. Perfect 10. That was nice. <laughs> that was nice. Look at our scores. Nice. We got a 30. Perfect 10. We're handing out 10. All right, we got Steve coming next. He has some making up to do. Let's see it. Let's see it, Steve. He definitely has some making up to do. Oh, oh, wow. And again. I'm Arm in the rim. I'm handing him out. I'm handing him out. Arm man. in the rim. He's playing to the judges. He's playing to the judges. He, pretty much, he could have put his armpit oh. there. He could have he put his armpit. He got his armpit in the rim. That's four thirty in a row. We got us a contest. You gotta think about this. That's guy's gotta hurt. Six wow. Feet, man. It'll be ice and what? Water. You said it's gotta hurt? It's gotta hurt. I mean Wow. Sir Isaac. That's why I stay out the gym. Man, this is too much metal in there. Wow. Isaac's not playing around, man. Here we go, Isaac. Isaac already, already giving him 30 on the board. <laughs> I already got my time. I think he needs another one to keep pace. Can we do it, Oh! Oh wow. Goodness. This dude. Wow. This, I, let's look at the replay. Look at this. His neck is Look at the replay. Look at this. Jump oh up. my goodness. Wow. He's still going up. Still going up. The rim should to his Just five foot ten. ten. How did he not get the six? Makes me question my own limitations. Just messing around earlier, man. Unbelievable. We got all ten to ten. I see you, Isaac. I mean, is that you? Somebody's going to get a 29 and be disappointed. We got Jordan coming up next. Woo! Oh. I'm giving that a nine. Yeah, I'm giving that a nine. Can he keep it? Uh, Can he? Let's see. First dunk, oh, first dunk. That. Round two, we didn't need any second dunks. I got to see this, In round two. I feel like I could do that, then. Over four. Get a windmill. Wow. Beautiful. I like it. Wow. All right, yeah. It's all Isaac's fault. It it's is. Isaac's fault. Isaac's fault. Yeah, I can do that one. What do we got? What'd you say? It's Isaac's fault? Yeah. Isaac's, it's Isaac's fault. fault. Well, that's the risk of choosing to go last, right? It's true. It's true. That's what happens. It's true. It's all Isaac's yes, fault. Yep. yep. We got two nines and an eight. Yep. 
Now dunk two is done. We have Isaac leading the way with a perfect 60. Jordan and Antoine battling it out for second. Jordan with 56, Antoine with 55. Steve has 31 huge points, a great score for one dunk. All right, Isaac, you are taking it away right now. Two 30s, you are in the lead. What do you say to those who think 5'10", who doubted you? So people rule the world. <laughs> Now, now, Steven, you're in last place right now, but you've got another two more dunks, another dunk to go. What are you going to do to bring it home and get some points on the board? Just wake up. Wake up. He's waking up. Antoine, you are still in the game. You're in third place. What are you bringing for the next round? Um, a little something acrobatic, but the crowd will see. All right, the crowd will see. Everybody's ready to go. Everyone's pumped and hyped and ready for the next dunk. All right, thanks, Brittany. This is our final dunk to determine who's going to go to the final round. Antoine's going to go first. Needs to keep pace with Jordan. We got a backflip. Oh! Oh! Now, I think he's plugged in. He's plugged in. Windmill, like there's nothing. Head at the rim, backflip. I'm giving that a 10. Beautiful. That's a lot of energy. He did finish that it. That is, man. That's a lot of energy. Doug, did you do shape. a backflip, man? If he no. would have stopped at the backflip, <laughs> I would have gave him a 10 for that. Stop. Yeah. Like Alshon uh, touchdown celebration. <laughs> Let's look at our scores. Cross the we board. give him 10s for the dunk. What do we give him for the backflip? That adds to the 10. Yeah. That, that's what I would have gave him a 10 just on the backflip. If he stopped, I would have I been fine said, with that. Steve said he wants to jump over Doug. You want to jump over me? I would. Okay. Work. Steve right, wants to good, jump man. over you Doug. You? Everybody's nervous. All the Bulls fans are nervous. Just Steve wants to down. bring Doug out. Oh, wow. All right. Stay away from the shooting arm. He's called Doug out. All the Chicago Bulls World fans are star. nervous around here. <laughs> Just keep that right arm safe. They got an Iowa connection. I don't think that's ever been said before. <laughs> the Iowa connection right now. All right, let's get it, Steve. Oh, oh. easy. Left-handed. Nicely done. Hey, man. Nicely done. Let's look at there the replays go. of that. You got your replay. I don't know if Doug saw the dunk. Easy. Making sure he doesn't take your head off. That's a 10, Here we man. go. Doug, this is what happened to you. Doug, how did it feel? How did it feel? When's the last time? Beautiful. I know about little breezes of wind. I've been called that before. All right, let's see it, Isaac. Let's see it, Isaac. Isaac. Oh. Backwards between the legs. <laughs> He's only 6'2", but. Isaac is not playing around. Isaac is not playing around. Let's look at the replay. Over him. So under the other leg. He won up Steven. Oh, wow. Wow, he did that backwards. Yeah, give him the 10. Backwards. Goes between his leg, under his left leg this time instead of his right, like it was nothing. Sure. Let's go to the judges. We got a 30 for Isaac. So that puts Isaac in the finals. We're really competing for second place. And it looks like Jordan needs a 30 to beat Antoine. He trails Antoine by 29 points. Jordan has to have a 30 to go to the finals. Anything short, and Antoine goes to the finals. Here we go, go, Jordan. Oh. oh. Behind the back behind out the there. Back. Trying to go behind back the back. Levine. He does have 30 seconds. Back Levine. Back Levine. Got about 15 left. Oh. OK. He's got to put something on the board. He's got to have a 30, remember? He's got to have a 30. I think he might be tired from the vert bar. Let's get it, man. Oh, through the legs. Made it with power, made it in time. It took a couple of took a couple of tries. Let's check out the replay. It was a beautiful I dunk, man. A few times. But he, the thing is, is he did that over people a couple dunks ago. Yeah, that's so true. It's, he just did, okay. it, the behind the back would have been a 10. Oh, so. Oh, that's beautiful, though. That's beautiful. That was a nice dunk. Let's look at the scores. Now, Chuck, what's your explanation for non-30s on that one? I'm just saying that two dunks ago, he did that dunk over people. Okay. So this time, nobody's there. If he would have done the behind the back, 10s on the You would have gave him the 30? Absolutely. Okay. So it looks like we're okay sending 
Sir Isaac, and Antoine, baby Dominique, to the finals. Brittany, you're there with our finalists. How's everybody feeling? I am here with our two finalists. First with you, Isaac. Perfect score. How much confidence do you have going into the final round? It's unlimited. I, I'm in that zone right now. I don't think I'm going to miss. All right, Antoine, 85 points, but we're starting from scratch right here, going up against this man who won the competition in D.C. last year. How you feeling? I'm just show the world what I'm capable of. I ain't going to say what I'm going to do. I'm just get the job done. All right, we're ready to go and get started with the final round of the competition. Reese, back to you. There we go. Final round. We got one guy trying to do it for Katie. We got another guy with unlimited confidence. We'll be back. 7-Eleven City Slam presented by Briss. We're back at Seward Park where we've seen some amazingly beautiful dunks so far today. Let's take a look at some of them now after staring into my eyes. It is championship finals time. Each of our two competitors will get two dunks each. They'll have 30 seconds to complete each dunk, but once they make a dunk, their turn is complete. If he does not complete a dunk in the 30 seconds, the judges will score him on his missed attempts, choosing likely between zero and one. The judges will score the contestants from one to 10, with the highest possible total being 30 points. The player with the highest total after the two dunks will be crowned the Chicago Regional Champion, win $5,000, move on to the City Slam World Championships in Los Angeles, and the adoration of everyone who is present. All right, so we're going into our championship final round. It's very, very tight. I'm going to get picks from all my judges. I'm going to start with Alshon. Now, Alshon, who's your pick? I'm going with the underdog. I got Antoine. He's going with Antoine. All right, the double-A connection. Doug, who's your pick? I got my man, Sir Isaac. Sir Isaac, and now we go into the expert. Chuck, who's your man, pick? I, I got to say Isaac's the favorite, man. This dude, this is what he does, man. Isaac is the favorite. Of course, he has a title from last year. OK, so Antoine's going to start us off. He wanted to go first. He's going with the self-alley-oop. Whoa! The self-alley-oop, just like Meek would have did, bringing it down hard. Let's look at a replay of that. Man, this dude gets just jumps. He doesn't have to run into it. It takes two steps, and his head's at the rim every time. Wow. That's beautiful. That's a, that's a windmill. That's impressive. That's a windmill, man. Good enough for a nine. Uh-oh. Now let's look at our scores. What are our scores? We got a nine. We got three nines. 27. Learn your multiplication table. Isaac said he's doing something brand new. Isaac's first dunk. He chose to go second in the final round. Oh, oh. oh. windmill, elbow. Wow, wow, wow. Is he off the? Is he off the rim yet? Let's look at a replay of that. <laughs> Did a windmill? Let's check that out. Goes over him. Make elbow. Him look easy chin at the rim. I'm going to there he is. We got two Let's look at one more replay of that. It's impressive, but we're in the finals. Yeah. Y'all show some love, man. Hey, listen, crowd, I'm telling you. All right. So it looks like, what do we got? We got a 10. We got two nines. We have a 28. With one dunk left, we have Antoine with 27, and Isaac just one point ahead of him with 28. Antoine's second dunk. Here we go. Probably needs a 30. Oh! Oh! oh. I have never bro. seen that before. Oh! I have never seen that before. Check a look at this replay right here. We got a replay, man? I don't even think you can do that on 2K. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! Unbelievable. This dude just floated, man. Unbelievable. Two steps. Wow. Wow. That was a 30. Got that. 
Now that was oh, neat right there. That, GoPro that was the neat. And he jumped from far. Ooh. Wow. That was neat. All right, so what are my judges? What are my scores? We got three tens, a 30. We got a 30. He's put the pressure on Sir Isaac. Sir Isaac Sir needs Isaac. a 30. That's where he steps up. To win this competition right now. A 29 to tie and a 30 to win for Sir Isaac. Uh -oh. <laughs> a 29 to tie and a 30 to win. I personally want to dunk off. Bringing some props. Dunk off. We got lawn oh, chairs wow. coming out now. Oh, wow. Nah, he jumped over him. Oh, he got this. He's got it. We got, oh, he got that. We got a chair. I, could, is this, wait, is this the John Wall on top of a chair? It's looking like it, man. Wow. Wow. I wanted to see a dunk off, but if he makes this. Joe does not. Wow. All right, let's see it. Wow. Sir Isaac's final dunk. Oh! I don't know. I don't know. Well, I don't know. He him. He did clear him. He didn't go backwards, though. But he did clear him. I got to go to He did clear him. He did make that look easy. Oh, wow. Let's look at the judges' scores. Let's look at the judges' scores. We got a 10, a 9, and a 9. That means that Antoine is our winner. I'm going to go to Brittany with little Neek himself. Antoine, all day you are taking home $5,000 and continuing on into the championships in LA. How you feeling? I feel great right now. I can't even describe my feeling right now. I just came out here and just showed what I was capable of. Like, I felt like I was on the radio, but I came out here and showed the world what I was capable of. $15,000 you're going for it in the World Championships in LA. What are you gonna bring to the court when you get out there? Just gotta go home, go to the gym and work some stuff, but we'll see what's in store. All right, took the prize home today. We'll see how he does in LA. Reese, back to you. I also wanna thank my co-host, Miss Brittany Payton, my sister with another father, because my father was not a famous football player. Congratulations to Mr. Antoine. We will see him and me and Chuck and the rest of y'all at the World Finals in Los Angeles. I'm personally touched by today's performances. He's playing to the judges. I expect high scores from Doug. I'm bringing flying. I'm bringing just high flying dunks. You good, you good. Keep hooping. We're in Chicago, man, come on. Back to the interview. <laughs> Sir eyes Isaac gets a playing around. This is for the record. I don't even think you could do that on 2K. 